So my name is Nefertiti Walker. Um, I'm a professor here, an associate professor in sport management. I'm also the director of diversity and inclusion for Eisenberg. I think the Me Too movement and the Time's Up movement is happening now um, because of mostly, of course, the political climate has a big influence on why a lot of women feel empowered. Having one woman speak up then allows other women to feel empowered by that, so then they also speak up and say, this has happened to me as well. There are some male champions and allies who are supporting these women, right? So that's another reason why they feel like the time is very ripe for them to step up and really speak their truths. I think for graduates, as far as eliminating sexism in the workplace, in the classroom, be authentic to who you all are. You're young, you're just entering the workforce, you're in this classroom setting for the first time or you're not around your school, friends from high school. You have to be authentic to who you are and how you confront situations. You have to be aware and educate yourself on what sexism is. You have to be aware and educate yourself on the policies around sexual harassment and mistreatment of employees in the workplace. And then I think once you become aware of those policies and those norms, then you have to speak up. You have to use your voice. You have to find your people in the organization. When I say your people, I'm talking about those mentors, those sponsors, those allies, whether they're male or whether they're female, you have to find those people and you, you go to them and say, this is what I'm experiencing. This is what's happening. And then they should be able to give you good advice. I think if you are a coworker dealing with sexism in the workplace, I think the first thing you have to address is, is this something that's discrimination and is this illegal? Is this against our HR policies or is this something that's cultural, right? So is this sexism part of our norms and our behavior? So are the men going out for beers after work and not including the women? And are they making decisions about the workplace while they're out in these really informal acts of, of cultural behavior? If it's that, then that's not necessarily something you would go to HR and complain about, right? But it's something that you would talk to maybe your supervisor about. And that's something that you would talk to those group of men and say, hey, I understand that this is a, a cultural norm. I want to be a part of it. I also want to join you. I may not even drink, right? But I still want to be a part of the conversation where these important decisions are made. You want to use data to document how many occurrences has happened, if it's something that's moving towards discrimination in your HR policies. Um, if it's something that's cultural, then I think you want to, again, find your people in the organization that's going to support you and talk about how can we change the behavior and these norms to be more inclusive for women. So how can we find opportunities to engage people in the workplace, that's inclusive for all of us. You have to find your voice and you have to speak up and act out.